This video is sponsored by OWC. Apple is preparing for a slew of fall product launches according to new filings that showed up today in the Eurasian Economic Commission database. There are listings for new Mac and Apple Watch models, all of which have previously unknown model identifiers that indicate that they're upcoming devices. The Apple Watch is something you can pretty much expect to see get refreshed every year alongside the next generation iPhone. And so these new Apple Watch listings are most likely the new Series 7, which will come with watchOS 8. As for the Mac, the ECC database lists A2442 and A2485 as new machines, and these could perhaps be the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models that are in the works and that have been rumored to be launching before the end of the year. The new MacBook Pro models are expected to have an updated Apple Silicon chip, either the M1X or an M2 chip, and a complete design overhaul. The new machines do away with the touch bar in favor of a standard row of function keys, and they also readopt many ports that were abandoned in prior models, with Apple adding an SD card slot and an HDMI port, along with Thunderbolt 4 ports. The new machines are expected to readopt MagSafe technology too for charging purposes, and they're believed to have mini LED displays. Now, speaking of things that were supposed to be launched alongside new iPhones, remember when Apple announced AirPower at the iPhone event back in 2017? Well, obviously it never quite made its way to a full release as the company decided to scrap its plans for that wireless charger. However, an Apple device collector recently shared a video on Twitter of a seemingly functional Air Power prototype. The video shows a unique on screen iOS animation when the iPhone is placed on the Air Power charging mat, which has only been previously seen in Apple's early marketing materials, making it the first time this animation has been seen out in the wild. An iPhone on the Air Power charger would have also shown the charge of all the other devices that were placed on the pad. I do still wish Apple had figured out a way to make this product happen without the potential risk of it exploding in your house, but I guess safety first. We've heard a lot of rumors about the next generation iPhone, presumably being called the iPhone 13, and one of those being that the notch should be reduced a little bit in size. Well, now Apple is actually researching ways to hide the notch entirely in future iPhones when it's not in use and expand the display according to a newly granted patent. Apple describes this mechanism as creating a window region in the display through which a camera or other true depth array components such as a dot projector for face ID can actually work. Then when these parts are not in use, the display would move back over that window region to hide the sensors underneath it. And lastly, in some quick news, Apple has brought back a dedicated store tab on its website so you can finally get to the store section easily without having to like click around on a bunch of different areas to find something to buy in the store. It's just, to me, it's always been a mess. And it's also been redesigned a bit to kind of resemble the Apple Store app version. And the main store page also features current deals and promotions along with accessories and products that Apple is highlighting. Navigation is done through horizontal scrolling, which feels more natural natural on iOS devices than on the desktop. Speaking of the store, you can now buy a new Magic Keyboard with Touch ID for use with other M1 Macs in the Apple Store starting at $99 for the keyboard that's newly kind of designed that matches the 24 inch iMac versions, but no Touch ID, or 149 for the standard with, and 179 for the full numeric keyboard with Touch ID. Now it is important to note that these keyboards do work with any Mac, but Touch ID will only work if you pair it with an M1 MacBook Pro, an M1 Air, an M1 iMac, and an M1 Mac Mini. And finally, Apple is now offering updated graphic modules for standalone purchases for Mac Pro owners who want to update their graphics card. Three new MPX modules are available for the latest Mac Pro, including a Radeon Pro W6800X for $2,800, a 6800X Duo for five grand, and the Radeon Pro 6900X for $6,000. Apple says customers can install up to two modules in a Mac Pro using Infinity Fabric Link technology for enhanced multi-GPU performance in applications like Final Cut Pro. And before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC has tons of products for your Mac, 
And earlier this year, they launched the incredible OWC Envoy Pro Electron SSD. This is OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C bus powered drive that the company offers, and it's super fast. The drive touts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, offering users super fast transfer speeds. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. Even though it boasts a lot of power, it's still really cool under the hood thanks to that aircraft-grade aluminum housing that really helps dissipate the heat. And for more information about the new Envoy Pro Electron or anything else that OWC has to offer, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.